Okay, everyone. I am back on the metro once again. Today, I am going to downtown. I am in downtown, but further downtown. I'm going to a museum. A museum called the National Museum of the American Indian. To check it out and maybe take some photos of my helmet. I brought another helmet to take photos of. And as usual, I just don't want to take photos at home and stuff like that. So, I thought I'd go somewhere cool to take photos of it. So, let's go. Okay, I guess we got three minutes. The train will be here in three minutes. The blue line to Largo. As you can see on the sign there, it will be here in three minutes. Alright everybody, welcome to Federal Center Station here in downtown DC. That noise you hear is the sound of the escalators which needs to be lubed up and oiled because it sounds kind of like a monster right now. You hear that? You can see we're going up the street third street okay i'll see you up there all right so now we're just walking from the metro station to the museum of the native american and american indian museum as you can see here's the capitol building to our right i feel like i was just here wasn't i just here yeah that was like two weeks ago i was here up on the hill there but today we're going to the museum of the uh, Native American to take some photos of my uh... and here it is now see right here at the corner is the Museum of the Native American all right everyone welcome to the National Museum of the Native American here in Washington DC this is a museum dedicated to uh, Native Americans American Indians and uh, their culture and their way of life here in Washington DC very close to the Capitol building yeah, we'll just walk around the uh, walking around the Museum of the Native American here, just to see what uh, see what thing, things look like around here. Also, to take some photos of my helmet. I brought my Redskins helmet over here, and and hopefully I'll take some good photos here. Here's a statue dedicated to a Native American of one of the tribes. What is this about? Buffalo Dancer 2 in 2008. I'm trying to find a place to take a good photo of my helmet here at the National Museum of the Native American. Trying to find a place, you know, where there's a good angle, nice, uh, nicely lit. You know, this time of day is not exactly the best time of day. It's not exactly, you know, the golden hour, but, but we'll see what we can find here. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at the National Museum of the Native American. I'm taking photos of my beautiful custom-made helmet here at the National Museum of the Native American. As you can see, there's my helmet. Here's the museum. Well, I've gone completely around the museum now. I'm going back to where I started from, right up here at the front. And uh, let's see if we can get photos over here at the front part. So you can see we're walking uh, east. East towards the Capitol. There's the Capitol building. But we're not going to the Capitol building today. I'm going here to the National Museum of the American Indian, as you can see. And this is the front. Let's see if we can take some photos here at the front, if I could. And uh, there's the National 
uh, Veterans Memorial, Native American Veterans Memorial over there, that big circle. And this is the front of the building, as you can see. That's the front of the building. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is my Washington Redskins helmet here at the Native American National Museum. We are here at the place uh, of uh, the uh, National uh, Native American Veterans Memorial. It's a nice peaceful place here with a nice sculpture uh, in the center, as you can see. Okay, I guess uh, it's time to go. I just came out here to take some pictures some really quickly. Took the metro out here to the Native American uh, Memorial and just thought I'd uh, just thought I'd take some pictures. Uh, I met the guy, he says he designed the, the memorial there because he saw my helmet and he took a picture of it as well and he says he designed the memorial. I don't know if he actually did or maybe he did. I always thought it was designed by a Native American because he was like a older uh, white gentleman. Maybe he's related to a few Native Americans, but this is the uh, Native American Museum. As you can see, pretty interesting architecture up there. I don't know exactly the details of why it was designed like this. It was made to look like this, kind of circular, circular design, but uh, Unfortunately, it's closed today uh, because of the. Uh, it was open for a while, for a couple of weeks, and then there was a big spike in uh, cases of COVID, so they had to close all the museums again. And as you can see, it is closed today. Look at the handles. Pretty interesting handles, huh? Yeah, pretty cool handles. Anyway, it's, it's closed today. You can't get in there. And I don't know when it will open again. All the Smithsonian museums are closed. The Air and Space Museum. Here are the uh, sponsors of this museum. Yeah, the Air and Space Museum, the Renwick Museum. All of the museums, the Smithsonian museums are closed because of the, uh, the spike in COVID cases, the surge in the cases of COVID. But anyway, hang on. Anyway, uh, let's go back to uh, the metro and uh, I'm gonna go back to work. Take one last look at the Capitol building over there. If you look closely, they're building the grandstand for uh, the uh, inauguration in uh, January. Can you see the they're building it now? Yep. Uh, yep. Here's the Capitol building. We're not going there today because I was just there a couple weeks ago and uh, and I don't want to go back there again. Yep. Capitol Dome everybody. Can you see it? There you go. Just walking around downtown DC over here and uh, trying to take some pictures of the museum. Let's take a picture of it from over here. Look at this from across the street. So you can see there's the museum right across the street. I'm crossing uh, 3rd Street here. As you can see, it's a pretty quiet day here in DC. It's been very quiet like this for several months now. Here on Capitol Hill, you know, at the museums, not too many. Usually this place would be busy teeming with uh, office workers and tourists and other people like that, but not, uh, not today. Not in the last uh, several months, half a year almost, I would say. More than a half a year, actually. And, uh, you know, it's quiet. So let me take this time, take this opportunity to uh, go to these places that are usually 
crowded with tourists and uh, take some photos, which is what I'm doing. But now I'm done taking my photos. Now I'm heading back to the metro to go back to the office. Okay? It's not even lunchtime, I don't think. It's, uh, I don't know what, I don't even know what time it is. It must be 10.30, 11 in the morning, something like that. But, yep, let's go back. All right, we're at the metro. So let's just go take the metro now. Take the escalator down. You can see we're doing some work down there. So you can see we're at Federal Center Southwest Station. tall escalator and a pretty noisy escalator it's not the tallest escalator in the in the system but it's probably the noisiest escalator in the system i guess it needs a little bit of oil because it's really loud a lot of grinding a lot of howling noises yeah it's really loud all right we're back at the metro here you take any one of those lines, blue, silver, or orange, doesn't matter. Take any one of them, it's fine. And, uh, as usual, I got my smart curve card here. Put it on the, uh, on the sensor. And we'll go downstairs and, and, uh, wait for the next train. Okay. Yeah, we'll go down here and wait for the next train. We'll take the train on the right here, which I uh, used to take every day several months ago, but now not anymore. I don't know when I'll start taking the train again. I don't know. Soon, hopefully. My train though, that's a train going the other way. That's a train going into Maryland. I need a train going this way. Back to uh, DC, back towards Virginia. Okay, the lights are blinking, which means the train is here. And uh, that's what that light, blinking light means. It means the train is here. And here it is. It's an orange line train. It's a train I used to take every day, but not anymore. Not anymore. trains this is like the uh, 5000 series I think this was built like in the 70s maybe the 80s yeah I think the ones that are built in the 70s aren't even in service anymore but this is still one of the older ones it's still pretty reliable though 
even though it's old and kind of, you know, stinky inside because, you know, sometimes a lot of stinky people ride it. A lot of bums and hobos and stuff like that. Anyway, the metro is pretty empty as you can see. Yeah, before the pandemic, this would be a lot, a lot more people here than this. But uh, today, during the pandemic, of course, uh, there's not too much people. All right, I got my Smart Trip card as usual, and now we are going to go out of the system and the metro. I don't know how much money I have left in this card. Last time I checked, I had about 60 bucks. And now... Uh, let's go check to see how much money we have left in our card here. Take these... Take my card and just run it through the machine here and see how much money I got. I got... Sixty-two dollars. Huh, not too bad. Sixty-two bucks. Let's cancel that. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's go upstairs to the street and uh, go back. Uh, it's too early for lunch, so I'm not going to go directly to lunch like I did last time. I'm just going to go back and. Uh, do some stuff and then and then I'm going to have lunch after that okay okay all right welcome back to McPherson Square this is McPherson Square to my left it's a small little park here where people can relax and have lunch on a typical day on a usual day but today, today most people in McPherson Square are just a bunch of homeless people and, you know, people like that. Yep, kind of quiet. Okay, time for lunch. I'm going to have lunch here at the Well Dressed Burrito because I have a hankering for a burrito right now. A hankering for a big, juicy, delicious burrito. Let's go for it. Let's go for the burrito over here, okay? Let's do it. As you all know, where the well-dressed burrito is located in an alleyway between two large office buildings. But uh, but it's a very popular place for eating around here, downtown, because they have very good burritos. And let me see if they have a... What do I feel like eating today? Maybe an all-meat burrito? Or something close to that? There's a car coming out of the garage there. Here's the well-dressed burrito, everyone. Let's get a burrito. We're having lunch at the well-dressed burrito. I ordered a burrito. It's gonna be good. Good burrito. Okay, got my uh, got my burrito here. Gonna enjoy it from here at the Well Dressed Burrito, which is located in an alleyway. Okay. Ah, well, taking one of the side streets here because I took one of the busier streets to get here. I took M Street, but now I'm taking the side street because it's quieter and I uh, I like quiet and I like the houses here. It's very quaint. Look at the houses around here. Aren't these nice houses? Look at that. They're not really houses right now. They're uh, they're more like office office space for different offices but, but this one's kind of dilapidated look at that this one needs some renovation of some sort 
Here on the side of the uh, street here. We're coming up to the uh, Shake Shack here on the right. I'm not sure if Shake Shack is even open. Well, they're open, but I'm not sure if you can eat inside at the Shake Shack. That's Connecticut Avenue over there. Yeah. Look at these, uh, these horns here. Look at that. Check out these horns, man. You see the horns? Pretty really interesting. Yeah, well, gonna go enjoy my burrito now. See, the Shake Shack is open, but you can't eat in, as you can see. <laughs> 